Hello, everybody. I'm Bob Vander Linden. I'm the curator of air transportation and special purpose aircraft here at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. I'm here to talk to you today about the difference between uh, types of flight in the sense of sonic speed. We classify them generally as subsonic, transonic, supersonic, and even hypersonic. Uh, sub means below. So anything that is subsonic is below the speed of sound. Now the speed of sound uh, is about 700 miles per hour. We also call it uh, Mach. So when we say something travels at Mach 1, that's one times the speed of sound. With the aircraft we're dealing with, um, most of our collection uh, deals with subsonic aircraft, you know, below the speed of sound. And almost all of those are propeller driven aircraft. From the Wright Flyer, which could do uh, all of 30 miles an hour to a high performance piston engine fighter from World War II, like a P-51 Mustang, that could do almost 440 miles an hour to a record setting aircraft we have in a collection of a modified Grumman F-8F uh, Bearcat, also known as Conquest One. In 1969, uh, it was highly modified as a race plane and it did 469 miles an hour and settled it all an absolute speed record for propeller driven aircraft. But 469, 470 miles an hour is about as fast as you can go, certainly with propeller driven aircraft. Now during World War II, uh, many fighters in combat went into prolonged dives during combat and they exceeded the aircraft speed that they were designed for. They were reaching 500, 550 miles an hour and even a little faster. So they were entering what's called a transonic region. That's trans means across. Uh, the difference between subsonic and supersonic. Now, when we talk transonic speeds, we're talking speeds like 0.8 Mach, that's eight tenths the speed of sound or 80%, up to about 1.2% the speed of sound. So uh, the NACA and the US Air Force got together and commissioned the Bell Aircraft Company to build an experimental uh, aircraft, the X-1, Experimental One. It's America's first experimental aircraft was rocket powered. And the whole purpose of this aircraft was to be a test aircraft to investigate the flight regime in transonic speeds. And they also hoped very much to, to be able to actually exceed the speed of sound and break the so-called sound barrier, which they did. The X-1 exceeded Mach 1. It was the very first airplane to do so with Chuck Yeager at the controls. It did about 700 miles an hour at 45,000 feet. And it showed very clearly that supersonic flight was not only um, possible, it, they could do it. They worked on new designs. Now we have, as I mentioned, we have subsonic, we have transonic, and then supersonic. Supersonic means above or more than the speed of sound or more than the speed of sound. Most modern jet fighters in the militaries around the world are uh, supersonic. They usually go about as fast as Mach 2, sometimes Mach 2.5. They don't go much faster than 2.5 because Considering most aircraft are made out of uh, aluminum alloys, uh, the alloys begin to uh, overheat beyond that, so it's not wise to build it uh, much faster than that. But in our collection, we have supersonic aircraft. We have the F-104, we have an F-4 Phantom, uh, we have a MiG-21, uh, F-105, F-100, and of course, the prize of all in terms of that is the, uh, the SR-71 built by Lockheed Blackbird, which, um, cruise at Mach 3.2. That's 3.2 times the speed of sound. That airplane could do 2,300 miles an hour. I mean, that is fast. And it could do it for hours on end. And so that's about as fast, that is as fast as a jet powered aircraft has ever gone. We do have also in our collection, the Concorde, which is the world's first successful supersonic transport. It flew for 27 years for, for uh, British Airways and Air France. Ours is from Air France. And it could cruise at Mach 2. And so it could fly across the Atlantic at 1,320 miles an hour uh, for two and a half, three hours. Now, we've discussed uh, subsonic, uh, transonic, and supersonic. There's one more, and that's hypersonic. Hypersonic flight is considered any flight faster than Mach 5. And the only aircraft ever manned aircraft to do that so far is the North American X-15. And we are again fortunate to have the very first one ever made. And it 
It flew in between 1959 and 1967. And one of its sister ships, that's at the Air Force Museum, did Mach 6.7. It's still a record manned aircraft within the atmosphere. And with that, I think that would bring my little tutorial to an end. Hope you've learned something. Thank you. Bye-bye.